As a young boy in Argentina, I had no idea how the Lord might use my life. God chose to send me on a journey to share His good news with millions around the world. He showed me firsthand how He would direct my path, how He would make a way. This is my story. Fuiste en busca de Dios. ¿Es así? Please. One of these days, you're going to dig a hole so deep, none of us will be able to pull you out of it. Do you have any idea how this makes me look? amor que uno de su vida por sus amigos. Esto es lo que dijo Jesús en el Evangelio según Juan. Hermanas, hermanos, Jesús está golpeando las puertas de tu vida, de tu corazón, de tu casa. Para todos juntos marchar en un mismo sentir, todas las congregaciones juntas como un solo cuerpo marcharemos hacia la Plaza Bolívar. Y ahora Luis Palau tres, responde. En estos días he recibido una carta de una señorita que me cuenta su terrible problema. I want to evangelize but I mean mass evangelism. God's in it. It'll happen. Billy Graham. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Graham. He'll preach all around the world one day. I believe it. This is crazy, please. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Why do you let little things upset you? I don't know. To succeed, you need a clear vision. You need to be bold. Él nos enseñó que Dios no solo juzga nuestras acciones externas. Hermanas, ¿quién está lista, transformado por el poder de su palabra? ¿Quién es este hombre? Luis. Luis Palau. Hi, I'm Kevin Palau, president of the Luis Palau Association, and I can't wait for Palau the movie to come around. I've been waiting for months to see this finally come uh, to fruition. Growing up as a Palau, we would hear these stories, and so they're in our minds, uh, what life was like for Dad as this young Argentine kid with no prospects, nothing going for him, humanly speaking, with this dream of going all around the world to share the good news of Jesus Christ and to see a movie that shows the step-by-step -step way that God guided him, not because there's anything special about Luis Palau, though he's my dad and I love him, but because he was obedient and faithful and simply acted on what God told him to do. And, and that's something that anyone can relate to. If you're a believer, certainly uh, you want to see what God can do with one singular life that's devoted to him. And even if you're someone who's not so sure about things of faith, there's something almost magical about seeing 
um, how one person's life can have a ripple effect all around the world. Again, starting off with nothing, humanly speaking, that would say, this guy's got great stuff in him. So I, it's a movie that you're gonna love, you're gonna enjoy it, I can't wait to see it myself. I remember the day, the day that I, that I knew that Luis had this problem with his health. Uh, Rebecca, the producer of this film, told me this and I couldn't believe that. I, I, start, I started to think, why? Why God puts me in this situation? What God brought us together? I mean, Luis and I, in this moment of our lives, why? Why now, with this movie, we have to start this movie with this information in my head, in my heart, in my soul? how I'm gonna do this now. So, I remember that I, I started to think, well, in the movie, we talked about, we talked about uh, Luis' father's death, so, uh, we're talking about pain, about suffer, about tears. But we talk about hope in this in this movie. So I I chose I chose that. I chose hope in that moment. I remember something really funny that happened in happened in in Areco. I was praying in that scene. I would preach in, in, in that scene. And after maybe the first time that I did the uh, major did uh, the scene a neighbor from Areco man came and said thank you thank you very much and I said you're an extra are you an extra no no I'm a neighbor from here so thank you your words were beautiful and you touched my heart so I, I thought well something is happened here at that moment Luis is here, and God is here. It was a, a very beautiful experience. This is not just a movie. This is a message. This is something you must see. You must know the story. You must know the courage, the faith, the time, the love. It is spent in, in, in all of this. Would you like to be the world a better place? You can do it. It's on you. It's I think that comes to my mind when I think in Luis. He's he's a dreamer, but he's a he's a dreamer. But in real life, he's always doing what what he dreams about and make people and, and make things happen. You know, that's amazing. That's what comes to my mind when I think in Luis. One night, I heard a sermon on the radio. I didn't know it at the time but it was the American evangelist Billy Graham. That moment changed my life. You can only come when the Spirit of God is drawing you and pulling you and speaking to you. And the Spirit of God is speaking to you tonight. The Spirit of God is speaking to thousands of you. And that's the only time you can come to Christ, when the Spirit of God draws you to the cross. Don't you hesitate. Don't you wait. You may never be this close to the kingdom of God again. It's really amazing how he has brought 
so many people together from so many different backgrounds and so many different places. It really humbled me to get to be a part of this because it made me realize how small our world is. And we, and I mean, when you see this story about this little boy who grew up into this amazing man, young man and then older man uh, who, I mean, the entire world has heard his voice and he has touched hearts and lives and changed people um, worldwide. You're going to get to know Luis on a much deeper level. It's a true story. It's the story of a lifetime. It's the story of his life, of the life of someone that trusts and work for his beliefs and he did a lot for a lot of people. When I think of Luis, I think of humility. I think people should come and see this movie um, because it's a great story. I think that this is an opportunity to listen to perspectives, to be persuaded, to be intrigued, to be entertained. And uh, there's nothing better than a true story. And this is a true story. And it's a great story. What is it you seek? Hmm? A vision of what you can become? You've been given a great commission, like your fellow students. To succeed, you need a clear vision. You need to be bold. I want to evangelize, you know, all over South America and maybe more. Well then, do you believe it's possible? Of course. During the war, I was at times at the bottom, without hope. My friends were dying next to me in the sand, but afterwards, I always had a sense of hope, of something better to come. And you trust your intuition? Yes. And you need to believe, with your heart and soul. You can be grateful when doors open for you, but don't trust in yourself. But in Christ, the indwelling, resurrected, almighty Lord Jesus. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome, sir. What stood out to me the most about Pat and her journey was her consistent faith. She never wavered, and this was something that I found quite extraordinary about her because there, there are definitely moments of questioning and doubt that Louise went through but Pat is just this force and she really was like a lighthouse for him and that's um, very much so how Louise has described her and she, her connection and her belief in her journey, it was something that was innate within her. Well, I'm Manuel Ramos. I'm, I'm acting as, as Jorge, Palau's friend. And for me it's important because I think that it's an opportunity to learn, to make something, something different of the life of someone who, who is important to uh, all around the world and, and here. And I, I'm very proud to be here. I was attracted to the story of a real man who's touched millions and brought them to Christ. I was very familiar with Reverend Billy Graham because when I was a kid, I would go to my grandmother's house and she would grab me by the back of my neck, sit me on the couch and make me watch him. And as a child, I have to admit, all I could do was kind of try to get out of there because I really wasn't interested at the time. I didn't know who this man and what the power this man had was. And then I read the breakdown of the character and I just thought how exciting in a story as big as this to play one of the most successful, well-known evangelists in the history of the world. He, he preached to tens of millions of people 
and then inspired others, such as Luis Palau, to take it even further. So to play a character like uh, Reverend Billy Graham is not only an honor, it's, uh, it's really a dream come true character for any actor, any actor that would get a chance to play this role would jump at the chance. Well, I'm so excited for Palau the movie in a strange way, in a very personal way, I just can't wait to see. It's the story of my family's beginnings and especially that uh, the story begins with the great launching crusade festival of 1966 in Bogota, the place and the year that I was born. I've got a great picture on my screensaver for the last five years of dad holding me right there at the clinic that I was born in and um, the way that I've seen the clips of the movie are just so precisely um, give us a view of that time and that era and all the good things that God was doing then and continues to do uh, to this day. You know, the Word of God says in uh, Psalms, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. And I think that this movie is really a response to that call from God to remember all the good things he's done, his wonderful deeds. and. These people, Dad and others, experienced this move of God in Colombia and across South and Central America and around the world, and it's worth telling. And so this is going to be a great opportunity for us to get a big vision of the kinds of things that God is doing all the time in us and through us. So it's not only good to reflect on what God's done, but to get ourselves geared up to have a, a big vision for what he might do through us because the best is yet to come in Jesus. And I think Palau the movie is going to uh, prompt us to dream a big dream. Jesus is opening the doors of your heart, of your home, of your house. He will not enter if you don't want it. Él no va a tirar la puerta abajo, no le va a dar un puntapié. Pero insiste, Jesús insiste porque sabe, porque conoce y confía en que algún día te des cuenta de la necesidad que tienes de Él. Hay un reino de los cielos esperando por cada uno de ustedes, donde hay perdón y donde hay esperanza. ¿Cuánto tiempo más vamos a esperar? ¿Cuánto tiempo más vamos a negar esta realidad? Dense cuenta de la necesidad que tienen de Dios y abran las puertas de su corazón a Jesús. Están escuchando el llamado, están escuchando a Jesús golpeando sus corazones. Abran esos corazones, abran su vida a Jesucristo. Amén. Amén, hermanos. Amén, hermana. Now you have a movie, your own movie, It's about your life. What do you think about that? Yeah. And what do you think about me doing no, I won't Luis Palau? <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you what I think about you. No, no. no. Look, uh, it's embarrassing yeah, <laughs> to say to people, come and see a movie about, about me. me. Yes, please. <laughs> I know. Please be merciful, you know. So that's, that's embarrassing. Yeah, no, my main prayer from the get-go was that it glorify God, right. that it inspire young people who think they have no chance in life yes. uh, to, to believe that God has ways of doing things that we can't imagine. Yes. How God can take a guy from a little town in Argentina, take him out to the world and reach a lot of millions of people, mm -hmm. which was an exciting concept. Yes, I had never course. sat down to think about it. I said something in, in the middle of the, of the movie, in, in one scene. I said, I say, it's not my glory. It's for the glory yes, of God. God yeah. So I think that you still think that, I mean, about everything. Yeah. It's not our glory, it's, for, yeah. it's not for sure. our glory, it's yeah. just for the glory of God. Yes. So what do you think or what do you imagine about this movie? What can this movie do? do? Yes, I'll tell you what this movie could do, could do with the anointing of God. I was hoping that when I told, and you did it pretty well, by the way, uh, about Ian Thomas, you remember about Christ Ian living in us? Yeah. Ian Thomas, beautiful scene yeah, that, and yeah. beautiful actor. He, yeah, Richard, and you went, so. and you, I was told that you did it, uh, you took a, yes. another thing and you got on your knees. Yes. That's what I did, went to my room, And really? that, yeah, after, oh yeah, yeah. Really after, after hearing him, I went straight to my room. Just to say, at the, I'm sorry, Lord. Yeah, I said, Lord, me. you take over. I uh, uh, no more Luis Palau. That's it. That's it. Just relax in His power. I'm 
believe that when you get up to proclaim the good news, God is at work. Yes. Because that's what he wants the world to know. So it's not something you imagine or create. No. <clears throat> yeah. So as far as you, can I get back to that? Yes. Yeah. I think it's very moving. I've seen a change in you, actually, you know, yes. in your the way you talk, yes. the way you seem to understand. I watch you on the interviews uh, that I was watching and uh, that you are understanding what I, what we believe and what we're trying to communicate. And yes. when you got up to speak in Bogota, I thought, man, he could do it without me, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you were so fired up and you were preaching with enthusiasm. Uh, just like Andrew would, or mm-hmm. you know, so I've seen, uh, I've seen in you uh, touches of God. I feel, but you know better. But I've heard you say it so that God has been working in your heart and in your life, and so you know, if somebody asked you, can you pinpoint Gaston when you surrendered your life to Christ? What would you answer to that? I I think that. It- I had that opportunity uh, 11 years ago, 11 years ago and two months, uh, when I raised my head and I said, I can't do this uh, alone, uh please help me. me. I don't know where's the key, I don't know where's the door, I don't know where anything, I I can't see, I can't see. You just turned to God. Yes. at that moment, I put my life in his hands. In his hands. Yeah. So that that is where my life I had I had a re, how do you say that rebirth. See re, rebirth. Re, re, rebirth, yes. rebirth. 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 Yeah. So um, and maybe one year after that, you called me on the phone just to say thank you for that. The film. The film, that really? the documentary the that I... That you yes. Yeah. So at, at the end, you, say, you said something like, maybe God will bring us the opportunity to meet us, meet, meet us together, meet... How meet do you together. Say? Meet again. together yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> so, I didn't remember that. So I think God's timing is always perfect. We are here now. You said, I've had an experience yes. that I never had before. Yes. And you told me about your situation. So tell me, tell me again. Huh? That's beautiful. It's a beautiful, it was a beautiful moment. Really hard, oh, yes. but beautiful at the end. <laughs> I, we were there shooting our maybe 10 last scenes of, of the movie and I mean, the second day, we were there for two days. And at the second day, I mean, on the second day, I had maybe one of the most difficult scenes in the whole movie. Yeah. I mean, it's the preaching scene. I mean, Bogota. Yes, yes. Bogota, 1966. Yes, yes. And I had a lot of text <laughs> there, maybe three pages. Wow. So. I started to do that scene in front of maybe hundred extras with the whole, I mean the whole crew yeah. there, yeah. and I lost it, my voice completely. It's, it was gone. Absolutely gone. Wow. So I was there in front of the crowd with, I mean the whole crew waiting for me just to say, and, and they, they and were nothing in, happened. Nothing. I mean. So I started to think what I'm going to do now. Please, <laughs> Lord, help me. And I started to pray. Yeah. I mean, after maybe 10 minutes. And I started to pray. And all the extras, they started to pray. I see. So we prayed together. <laughs> we prayed together. And after 20 minutes, the boys, my boys, returned. returned. Wow. So, but I'm, I remember, I asked God just to say, and, and I said to him, please be my voice. <laughs> be my, take my, my throat, be yeah. my voice. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, now, and, and I did that scene, I mean, with my 
with all my voice, but I think that in a different way, you oh, know? Unusual. Yes, I understood something about you uh. in, in the middle of the scene while I was there making, filming, doing, yeah. yes, filming that scene, shooting that scene. I understood something. I understood your, your, your heart. I mean, his heart. Yeah. His power. Yeah, yeah. His love. His, his everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I wanted to say thank you again <laughs> for that you, beautiful moment yeah, yeah, yeah. that I had. Yeah. It's amazing I, the Lord can bring two people together, you know? Yes. I just feel like we've been brothers yes. all our life, yes. you know? And so don't let the moment pass. Keep oh, living in it. Keep living, yeah. yes. Yeah. Thank you. Man. Good. That's good, that's good. So you look back on that as an important moment in your life. Yes. Would you think that it's a Ian Thomas moment? You know, in other words, it made Gaston Paul's Yes. Uh, a, a new person in, yes. in many deep ways. Yes. That's interesting. Yes. Because now I think that I am a believer. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm now. Yeah. Not I am a believer. Now I believe. Uh, that's amazing. You know, now I believe. Now I understand. Yeah, so Christ in you, that's the key. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks for telling us that, you know? That's very important, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so glad this guy has eternal life. <laughs> yeah. Thank we'll be in heaven together. Talking to Gaston, who plays me as a person uh, in this film, uh, it's just a, an unusual, unexpected, never before experienced experience, because I never, th really never thought somebody will make a movie out of my life. In fact, I often wonder what could be interesting. But now I realize it can be quite interesting and Gaston has done it that way. So, but um, the movie has a message on how to live in a way that pleases God with his supernatural power rather than you trying to be more devoted, more religious, more devotional, whatever. Yes, all good, but you learn to live in the indwelling Christ, to walk with God who lives within you from the moment you receive Christ. So I'm hoping that this film will bring many like you who want to have the assurance of eternal life. I think it'll touch your heart, and that's my prayer. God chose to send me to share his good news with millions around the world. He'll preach all around the world one day. This is Luis Palau. Billy Graham. I want to evangelize, Pat. Why do you let the little things upset you? You need a clear vision. You need to be bold. I don't know you This is my story. 